You're watching Peach Pickers TV. When did you know you wanted to be a songwriter? Or when did it all start for you? For me? Yeah. Uh, let's see, when I got a uh, DUI <laughs> and I couldn't sell real estate anymore and I was sitting in my dad's pool house and I learned how to play guitar. But seriously, I always loved country music and, and uh, you know, I had it ran down my throat. My dad listened to all Waylon and Hank Jr. And, and, and uh, my friend Luke Bryan actually came here first and now he's doing really well. He's, he's got had several hits on the radio, but Luke kind of, not coerced me, but he said, man, I need to need you to come up here. I'm writing with some guys and they don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I, I, I need a South Georgia boy to come up here and write. And, I was at a point in my life where I could do it, so I said, what the hell? Came out here with 700 bucks in my pocket. I love it. I love it. And now that's less than my rent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, yeah, that's, that, that's the, kind of the question. How did you get to Nashville? Yeah, I just, you know, like I said, I had a good time in my life where I could leave, and, and instead of following in my father's footsteps were, were normal. Get a job, get job security, make your money, go to work, okay. save some, retire one day. You know, this is the craziest thing in the world. You come up here and right. I, think I was making eighteen thousand dollars a year. My first, my first uh, publishing deal. That's a big leap. You just got to do it. Yeah. And I was at a point where I could just say, "All right, I'm gone." That's great. And we're still. My story is uh, I grew up in the same <laughs> yeah, town with Rhett, Rhett Akins, and. Okay. Uh, we got big buddies and we started writing songs together. We were like 14 years old. And uh, we got turned on to Hank Jr. real early on. And, you know, for, believe it or not, way back then, we both said that, you know, one day we're going to Nashville. And uh, Red took a look, he got here before I did. His path was a little faster here, but I went to college and uh, the entire time I never wavered all through high school. I'm going to Nashville one day. I go to college and play college baseball and uh, the whole time there, I'm going to Nashville, but it's not something I, everybody knew about me. Uh, my mom was probably the main reason I'm here. I mean, she uh, she knew she knew every spare minute I had of my life that if I wasn't playing sports, which I didn't want anything, that I was writing songs. And uh, she's one that really encouraged me. She's like, you you know, I graduated college, I got a couple of job offers, doing other things that I really love, like broad, sports broadcasting, uh, TV awesome. stations, and. and uh, my country accent was not near as bad then, but uh, I've gotten rid of it in college. But, uh, you know, I get I get done and I'm like, all right, now's the time, you know, and I, I'm like, do I really do this? I've been saying for 10 years I'm going to Nashville. And uh, my dad was probably was a little, you know, he was a little hesitant about it. He didn't, you know, you just don't know when you're a songwriter, you don't, I, I had no idea, what do you do? Right. Well, I mean, what do you do with your songs when you get there? Right. I mean, so anyway, my mom was, you know, she was, she really pushed me. She's like, you know what? You're you're young. You're 23 years old. If you don't do this now, you're going you're going to regret it. You need to at least try this. Just move there and try it. And so I did. And you know, Rhett was the one person I knew when I got here. Which you know, Rhett moving here made it a lot easier for me to make my decision. I'm not 100 percent sure if he hadn't been here that I would be here right now. So, and uh, for us to be having a big song again. Good times and the 